I'm here to share with you expert advice from the team here at APS on battened hiking pants for dinghy sailing. Um, so in sailing a dinghy upwind fast, the key is to generally you got to keep the boat flat. And um, as the wind increases, you're going to put your feet, if this was the deck of the boat, here's the edge of it, you're going to put your feet under the hiking strap or the toe strap, and you're going to sit out on the edge of the boat, and you're going to start to lean out and project weight out. And that's going to keep the boat flat. Um, as the wind increases, you're going to need to start to straighten your legs and project your weight even farther out. Um, and that's going to keep the boat flat. Um, but after a while, uh, it's going to be hard to maintain that. There's a lot of strain on your leg muscles. There's a lot of discomfort from the edge of the boat in the back of your legs. Enter hiking pants, battened hiking pants. I'm wearing a pair of three quarters here where the batten pad is right here between the knee and the bottom of the buttocks. And that's where I want it located. Um, this is a style where the pad is removable. So what is this going to get me? Four things. Um, number one, leg comfort. These are stiff battens in a padded uh, shell. And the edge here, all that weight and discomfort, it, it's all being distributed to the back of the leg. So you're not point loading, so a lot more comfortable. Um, allow you to uh, hike further out. The further out you get, the flatter the boat is in big wind. How does it do that? Well, when you've got your body weight on here in these stiff battens, you're kind of projecting the deck a little bit further out, and that tends to keep your buttocks up and project the weight um, out farther um, and allow you to hike longer while it's doing this. There's no pain. It's helping to support your legs, a little less muscle fatigue, and you'll be able to hike longer. Uh, lastly, is the ability to translate body movement or energy more directly from you to the boat. If you were going to, let's not say ooch, but maybe make a movement and you would like to translate that energy to the boat, instead of the soft backside of your leg, you've got a nice, uh, firm, stiff surface here that's translating uh, any of that energy to the boat. Okay, now we're moving into uh, the materials and the styles of battened hiking pants. Um, they are going to be universally made from neoprene. Neoprene, think wetsuits, is an insulator. So the thicker it is, or the more body coverage, the warmer the suit's going to be. Um, why is neoprene such a good thing for hiking pants? Uh, a number of reasons. Um, number one, it's a second skin fit, so it's not going to catch on things on the boat. It's stretchy, so you can move in it easily. Um, it is um, a firm material, so when the battens are attached to them on some styles, uh, they hold them in place. If these were made with lycra and really stretchy, you'd find the pads were moving all around. And lastly, um, this is a nice feature, it's padded. So wherever you're wearing them, you're getting a little bit of extra protection from bumps and bruises. Um, moving into the styles, um, this is going to be, the style that you choose is going to be determined generally by the weather. How warm is it out there? Um, what we're talking about style-wise is how much of the body it's going to cover. So if it's really warm, you might start out with these shorts. In this case, the battens are permanently attached. And on the shorts from different manufacturers, this thick belt is cinched tight and keeps the pants in place. Um, you can find that it's a, maybe a little mm, in the way when you're bending over, uh, but they've done a pretty good job on all the styles of scalloping this out, and this is going to be the least warm option. Uh, if we move into a full pant, again, for warm weather sailing, um, we've got a adjusters up here on the side, nice wide band, and we've got full leg coverage on these. Uh, but we're not covering the chest, so we're not retaining too much heat. The most popular, by far, hiking pants style is going to be the three-quarter. Um, so this is going to cover the knees fully, um, so you're padded here and go down part of the, um, the leg below there. And we've got adjustable suspenders. It's minimizing the amount of torso coverage. The suspenders really make these. Um, you can adjust them up and down, that's going to, number one, keep the suit itself in place, the pants, but more importantly, it's going to keep the pads exactly where you want them, three quarters. 
And as we move on, we could get into a skiff suit like this, um, a little bit cooler, or we could go to a full steamer suit, depending on uh, the insulation needs. Okay, now we're at the heart of it, the actual pads. I'm going to show you three different types of pads, but before we get into that, I just want to reinforce that it that fit of the pad on the back of the leg is really important. You want it below the buttocks, above the bend in the knee, and whatever type of suit that you pick, you want it to fit such that these are not moving around. They don't slide and twist. You want them right there so they can perform. Um, so getting into the three types, this is the original. Um, this is a pair of uh, shorts. Uh, this could be pants, three quarters. This is the sewn in. And right off the rack, if these fit, the pads are in the right place and they're not moving around because the suit, uh, the pants or the uh, shorts fit well, um, there's a lot of sailors out there that love uh, sewn in. Uh, it's simple and um, they function great. It's just that they need to fit um, the back of your legs um, and the uh, thigh diameter. So great choice. Moving into the next one, we're back to these. These are Velcro in. So I buy these pads separate. I buy from the same brand a pair of hiking um, wetsuit shorts, pants, three quarters. And on the inside, I've turned them inside out on these trousers. You'll see this material, which is a Velcro facing. It's the loop side of Velcro on the actual neoprene. Um, and then these strips here have the hook side of the, the Velcro. So before I turn these inside out, I would have tried them on. I would have marked, um, you know, taken a little measurement of where I want the pads to start. And once I've got these flat, I basically just stick them in place. And this Velcro attachment is really aggressive. So they're not going to, once you get them Velcro, they're not going to move around. Now turn them right side out, put them on, make sure they're in the right place. You cannot adjust these when you're wearing them. So if you need to move them a quarter of an inch or a half an inch, you're going to need to take them off, unvelcro them, put them back on. Uh, good news is once you've got them in the right place, they're going to stay there and you don't have to go through that. It's just a one-time uh, operation. Okay, the third option for the actual pads is a sleeve. Now, these are unique because they operate independent of whatever you're wearing over top uh, sailing apparel, usually a wetsuit. Um, so these come in different diameters to, so you can match it to your thigh um, circumference. And inside this little envelope is where the pad is. So the pad, in this case, consists of two things. I've got the battens here uh, with padding. And... I also have this EVA foam that I can use or not use. And if I use it, it's going to raise me a little bit higher off the deck, uh, which might help me project a little bit better. So with these, once I have compressed these, slid it into that little envelope hole there, I've got my sleeve ready to go on. And starting with the big part, I just, on my bare leg, slide this up, get it right into where I want it. In this case, they have these kind of rubbery strips, and that kind of grips to the skin and keeps these from moving around. And then at that point, you're ready to put whatever you want over top of them, uh, generally a sailing wetsuit uh, with a reinforced back, and you've now um, got a hiking solution. So with choosing your hiking pants, make sure that the pads are being held in place. They're comfortable. They're not chafing. If you have any questions, call the team at APS. Uh, they'd be glad to help you. And again, make sure that you try these on and move about in them on shore before you take them out on the water. Well, for this and more information, visit us at APSLTD.com.